Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's been a while since I did a key shot video, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be in Keyshot 7.2 Pro to be exact, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up studio lighting. All right, here we go. Hey guys, well, as you can see, we're in Keyshot 7.2 Pro to be exact, and uh, I loaded up an, uh, a model that I got off of renderpeople.com. This is uh, May, it's a free model, and I'll put a link below so you can get it. And uh, that said, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna set up a, a studio light uh, environment, okay? That's gonna be a three-point light setup. Now, to be completely honest, I found a very similar video on YouTube, uh, pretty much doing exact same thing. Uh, I don't want to steal other people's ideas, but I have been asked specifically whether I wanted to do this uh, despite that video. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And as I have uh, photography viewers from my other channel as well, it's a good topic to cover. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump in. Um, this is the model this is the default environment what we're going to do is we're going to go into the environment tab and we're going to set up a complete new environment okay so we're going to go in here and we're going to click on this guy to create a new environment there you go and we'll just uh, call this uh, let's see we'll call this may underscore render people why not i mean they didn't pay me for the video but they gave me a free model so there you go okay so we got that and what we need to do a couple of things. First of all, we need to go in here and uh, change the background color. Right now that is set to uh, bright or bright-ish. Uh, my background is set to color. You can go to gradient, to sun and sky, or to, for example, image to use a backdrop. I'm just gonna use a uh, color and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna change that to completely black, okay. Now that will show you exactly how much light we've got going on in our scene, which is none. And that's exactly what we want. Okay, so for the three light setup, um, we have a key light, a fill light, and a rim or hair or backlight. And the key light is the main light to uh, light up the object. The fill light is to make sure we don't have any spots that are so black that you don't see the texture anymore. And uh, the rim light or the hair light or backlight will give some light from behind, all right? So let's uh, go in and create our first pin. So we're gonna click on this little pin symbol right here. And as we do that, you see immediately that some light is coming in. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna right click and rename that and let's call this our key light. Okay, so key underscore light and hit enter. Now the key light is the strongest light of the three and we need to position that. Now you can uh, click with your mouse in this black rectangle here and move it around like this. What I prefer to do is actually go into the model and click there, okay? And you can go up and down and left and right, of course. Now let's look at the angle that we're looking for. I kind of like this because it brings uh, a lot of features in. And because I applied a marble texture to uh, the model, you're having a lot of reflection, which is fine, okay? So I think that is okay for now. I might adjust the brightness later on, we'll see. Uh, but let's see what happens if we do. Uh, things will blow up pretty quickly. Okay, so let's leave it. Let's do let's do 1.5 for now. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna go in and we're gonna create the fill light. So we're gonna create a new pin. And what we'll do is we'll turn off the key light, so we know exactly what's going on. We'll rename this guy. We'll go in. We'll rename it. We'll call it fill underscore light and that's what we need to position as well so i'm just gonna not move my model let's make sure we've got the light selected here yeah we're gonna go to this end and it's kind of finicky to get it into the right position but we'll get there so that would be somewhere around there maybe slightly higher but the intensity has to go down a lot. Like I said, it's a fill light. It's just to break those dark spots, okay? So I'm at 0 0.17 right now. Let's turn on our key light. Okay, good. And now we've got one more to go. So I'll turn this on. We'll turn on one more pin here. We'll right click, we'll go in, we'll rename that. And I'll call that the rim light. Okay. 
as before. I'm going to turn off the other two. Let's have a look and see where it's positioned. And that's in the back there. And I bring that way, way, way down. And this should be close to nothing. Let's turn on the other two. And I'm liking it, okay? Now, that is um, a good setup, I think. Uh, what you can do here, which is kind of cool, is you can go in and actually change the colors of the light if you like. So for example, I got the rim light selected right now. I could go in and go in here and let's say, push that towards a little red glow or what's really popular is uh, orange combined with blue. So this is a very, very faint orange in the back. Let's do that. And then we're gonna go into the fill light and we're gonna change that one to blue or blueish. And don't go nuts on that. Just make it very subtle, okay? And this is especially for people that do color grading. This is a very popular uh, color combination to use. Um, be careful not to go nuts on that, okay? Now, I think this is looking okay. Uh, let's check the brightness on the, um, the key light here, whether we're okay with that. Maybe a bit more. And let's do a render. Okay, so I'm gonna check a couple of settings here. Uh, let's see, we're gonna leave that alone, we're gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna bump up the shadow quality and the ray bounces. And then our environment, we've been playing with that all along, so it's good. I'm gonna leave my materials, I'm gonna go in here. Let's see, I'll turn that on. We don't have any ground reflection just yet, but I'm gonna turn that on as well. I'm gonna go into my render view, let's go to a render. Let's uh, call this may render i'll save that on my desktop and there you go and let's see what else 1920 by 1080 that's all good i'm gonna go into my options maximum samples looks all good and let's render here we go Right guys, well, there you have it. This is our final render. Um, I think it turned out okay. Um, and I kind of like the fact that you can do this kind of stuff in Keyshot, okay? So uh, let me know if you've got any questions. If you want to see more tutorials in Keyshot, please let me know in the comments, okay? Well, thank you very much for watching as always. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos and see you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.